Welcome back to the journey. And if you are new, we are collecting the entire Star Wars Kenner line starting from 1977 and ending at 1985. And we have started from scratch, but we're making progress. But today, today is a very special, I mean, they're all special, but today is a very, very special episode because let me tell you a story. Now I've shown you how I've lost items whether it's on eBay or other auction sites. And those bidding wars can get pretty dang awful. And you know what? They're honestly nerve wracking, but it's mostly on items that I need and not necessarily ones that I feel really passionate about. I mean, there was the Jabba, that was one of them. This is the exact same thing. So what is that item? Yeah, Rancor monsters hung me again. That's right, today we attempt to get a Rancor monster at auction. So to set the stage, I was in Austin, Texas, and we actually had tickets to go see the Van Gogh exhibit when the auction started. Now, I wasn't gonna buy anything. We left the house, I checked the phone, and there was a Facebook auction going on. So I tuned in, and my girlfriend's into Star Wars too, so we just were listening to what was going on auction. And right there, on the auction block, the first thing that he pulled out was a Rancor inside a very nice looking box. And we both liked what we saw. He was showing a figure that had very tight limbs, the paint was perfect, his chiclets in his teeth, I mean, there was no paint missing from his teeth, the jaw worked perfectly, and if any of you have owned those Rancors, you know that the spring inside the jaw is the first thing to go. But it came in the original box, had a catalog, the original catalog with it, and it also had a Wii Care paper, which I don't know if it goes with this, but it was in there anyway. So I had to place a bid. I've always wanted one of these. <laughs> so our tickets were for seven o'clock at night for the Van Gogh show. The auction started at 5.30 and that's when we placed our first bid of $125, which was the starting bid. Time went by, nobody was bidding. The seller kept on selling figure after figure, playset after playset. No one was bidding on the monster. I thought, could this really be? Could I get a Rancor monster with no other bidders fighting for it? It was 6.45 at this point, 15 minutes more, and we had to go inside to the Van Gogh exhibit. And just when the auctioneer was gonna start closing the bidding on everything, people started asking about the Rancor. They started asking what the box condition was. They started asking what the catalog was. They started asking about the condition of the Rancor. Stuff that just drove me wild because he was about to close the bidding. So he opened it back up in case anybody wanted to bid. And then somebody bid $150. We are in the parking lot at this point and we are just in suspense. Seven o'clock comes around, we're supposed to be inside. And I said, look, let's place a bid for 175 and we'll just go inside, see the exhibit, and we'll just see if that's the winning bid. If we win, great, and if not, oh well, there's next time. She looks at me and says, no, we have invested too much time into this Rancor. We can wait until that Rancor is ours. And let me tell you guys, when a woman says to get a Rancor, guess what? you're getting a Rancor. So she goes inside, tells the people that I'm on a business call, which pretty much I am. We place a bid for 175 and then we wait. More figures get auctioned off, more play sets get auctioned off, even Star Wars cups and plates get auctioned off. And then the auctioneer says, all right, we're about to close it down. We are curled up in the seat of our car in suspense. And then someone else asks, about the Rancor, someone who was not inside the bidding to begin with. He swooped in and asked about the Rancor. At this point, she's holding so tight on my arm, I can't even feel my hand anymore. But then it happened. The auctioneer called the bidding in my favor. All right, I think the post office heard me complaining about my last box because this one is almost completely <laughs> it's like perfect. Uh, so they probably got tired of me saying that my boxes were coming in, uh, you know, messed up. But, you know, there's a little nick right there, but I'll take that any day of the week. But check out the stickers on this thing. We got Lando and we got a Rancor. Fragile. OK, 
Okay, I'll be really, really careful on this part. Make sure I'm not cutting into anything really delicate. There you go. Lifting right here. This is my workout for the day. Lift. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at this. This time we got the force is strong with you. Oh, the force is strong with me. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to wear this for sure. A Yoda pin. That's awesome. I have a jean jacket and this is definitely going to go on it. Look at that little Yoda pin. That's rad. Joey, feed this guy soon. He's probably starving after the trip. We got a big Bantha steak ready for him. We got a special Jabba sticker right here. And then we have Eric's awesome business card. That's an amazing suit too. Oh, can you guys see that? Look at what's peeking out at us. Again, this package, packaging, was excellent. Yep. Again, great packaging. This is only my second boxed item. I do have a Tauntaun. Wow, look at the color on this. It's not perfect, there are veins right here, it is crushed. It's not a mint box by any means possible. You know, there's veins down here, but we're not looking to grade the box. And this is cool, this is like, you know, you're, you're back in 1983 and you're getting one of these, you know? So you have to be careful when you're opening these to make sure you don't rip or tear any of the cardboard. The folds when you open these, they've been opened and closed so many times over the years that you wanna be careful with them, not to fold them too much. And he even put packaging inside here, which is great. Look at who's peeking out and saying hello to the world again. It is heavier than I thought it was gonna be. I like the detail in the skin. Kenner did a really good job back in the 80s of engineering toys. The jaw still works. The springs are really, really tight. The, the limbs are really tight. I mean, the box is almost pristine, so it looks like somebody just played with it one day for Christmas and put it back in the box and just kept it up in an attic. That's what it really looks like. And by feeling the joints and everything, that's what it really feels like too. And let's look in the box because there's something else in there. So when you would get these boxes, when you would get a playset or a vehicle or even a case, these would come with it. Oh, I used to love looking at these. This brings me back. I haven't opened one of these up since I was probably seven or eight years old. <laughs> this takes me back. The Tatooine skiff vehicle, which they hadn't even made yet, so they, they put it into, uh, they used one of the movie photos. But I don't know if this comes with this box. I'll have to ask some questions. But it's really, it's really cool that we actually have one. The business card that closes deals right here. This is it. I'm gonna wear this for sure. So if you see me on the street and you see this, you know where it came from. And look at these pearly whites. This guy has a great dental plan. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have one. And let me know if you have one inside the box. And again, did this come inside this box? Because these pieces right here are hard to find. And I'm glad just to display this by itself. But here is the main attraction. Beautiful. Welcome home, buddy. And yes, for all of you wondering, we did go to the Van Gogh Museum. Here is a special clip. All right, guys, so you just saw that. We, uh, we won a Rancor off a bid, which took forever. But uh, this is why that we were inside a car, uh, because if we turn the camera around, uh, we're at the Van Gogh Museum. Now we're gonna go see some Van Gogh. I would like to see the baby. And there is the box in the back, but here is the Rancor. Isn't he so beautiful? I would like to see the baby. So now we can go and check off the Rancor monster in a box, nonetheless. And we got this for 175 off of a Facebook auction. And we have an update on the figures that we sent to CAS. They let us know that those four figures, that was the Dianoga Trash Monster, the Leia Hoth, the red-headed version, and the two sand people, they got their safe and they're in processing, but it's still gonna take me about five to six months to get those figures back. I'm hoping that it's a lot faster, but for right now, it's five to six months. If you found this video interesting, please hit that like button and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can follow the journey. But as always, thank you and I will see you next time. If you're new to the channel, check out the welcome video or just check out the next episode. And please subscribe if you want to follow the journey. And remember, there is no shame in being a Padawan.